Hey, Juji. Yes, sir. Can you explain what's happening? Okay. Give them the background story. Right, so when we first moved in, I had the movers with their big, heavy moving machinery put the loaded Cerberus sandbags in my gym. About a week, two later, I figured out that was a bad idea because they're in the wrong spot. The problem was I couldn't move them myself. So Joey comes over here to catch a workout on his way to his grandma's house. And uh, I asked him to see if he could move them. And he moved them right there. And they haven't moved since. They have not moved since you put them there in November. It's, it's, you think I could do it? Yeah. See, I'm worried because the past three days we've been doing a lot of work. We stand around outside all day long. Uh, I hope you can because I want them to be moved. Right. So we're going to see if you can do the uh, do them. I'll help you with the smaller ones. Let's see if I'm an actual strongman. Okay. Yeah, because actual strongmen actually move things all right. usefully. So we'll, we'll move some of this stuff out of the way first, okay? All right. John, do you know the weight of these actually? Any I idea? believe this one is 420. This one? Yeah. You oh, moved okay. it, bro. You moved it in Olympic lifting shoes last time, up the steps. That one, I'm not sure. Is it heavy? Yeah, I think these are all heavy. Okay. You moved them. I didn't move them. Yeah. Holy but, shit. Yeah, and then I want to try the back one where, where I have like a few. We can use the one last thing I would say. Oh my really god, I can barely cool. keep up with you. How heavy do you think that is? 300. Go to the gym. Go to the gym. Okay. Try 300. That's 300? Let me try to pick it up. What a belt? He didn't wear a belt. You don't wear belts with bags? You don't wear belts with bags? No, I don't. Listen the way. Oh, man. That's such a wide grip. I'm too tired, man. I don't know how you're doing this, man. I'm freaking zapped right now. You want to try this? Try to lap it. Just try to lap it, man. I would probably try to lap it the other way. I don't care how you anyway. lap it. Just just pick it up. He just walked across the lawn with it. He's got it. Oh, shit. Yeah, once you that's, get it that's there, the hardest part. that's the worst part about lapping it that way. Good there job, man. Is it hard? Yeah, well, I kind of like that position. Better. All right. <laughs> All right, come on. You got. It. Oh, nice, nice. Come on, John. I can't grip it. And I'm losing it. I wasn't too bad. I just can't hold on to it. Try to uh, when you get in your lap. Yeah. Get higher up on your chest. Higher up on my chest. Yeah, and get, get your arms a little bit more around it. Okay. It, it will be easier it. to hold it this way though, right? Yeah, for okay. sure. It was just pulling you forward. It's too out front. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. There you go. That's it. That's it. That's it. Lean back and walk. Good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Follow the brick road. Follow the brick road. Come on. Come on. There you go. Off the beaten path. To grandma's house we go. 15 feet. All day, all day, all day. Joey. Me. Got a lizard. <laughs> a little lizard. Yeah, there might be things. I don't think anything's living in those sandbags. They're too hard to get inside. Golly, man. That's just. Guys, if you don't understand how heavy a 420 pound completely packed sandbag is, the sandbag has no give. Let me get it. Before you pick it up, Joey, let me, let me show these people this, okay? This sandbag is more like a normal sandbag that someone would be messing with. It's got give because it's not completely full. Cool. See, I can grab it right there. That sandbag, that sandbag's packed. It's like a punching bag, bro. Except for it's very difficult. Very difficult. You're gonna, you're just gonna try to get this out of the way first. Oh my God, dude. Joey is not human. He's one of the strongest beasts I know. That's smart, yeah. Hey guys, do you realize how heavy the sandbag is? It's a 420 pound sandbag. Yeah, and you're just making Joey do it. 
All for the, all for the YouTubes, bro. All for the YouTubes. Come on, guys. This is why you follow Joey. Oh my God. Oh my God. I mean. Oh no, we're struggling. Oh no. We're struggling. I can do it. Look at what goes through your head when you uh, go down to pick it up. Anything? Hardest part with this is how wide it is. Yeah. So. Weight-wise, it's not really the issue. It's the leverage of my arms. So I'm trying to get my arms as deep as I can. Yeah. And then get enough clearance to get in my lap. Once it's in my lap, I'll be okay. Okay. Well, but, why don't you take a break, catch your breath, while I try to get one of these smaller yeah. sandbags over here. And I like morph it. You see that? Yeah. Yeah. Squishy. You really get into it, dig in, and kind of cut your way into it. A big hug. Yeah. I can actually have a conversation yep. now. How many gyms are you gonna have soon? Three. Where are they well, this one's here. The new one's gonna be on that gravel square over there. And then there's one in my basement, which we did a workout video just a few videos ago <laughs> on your channel. Fucking bitch. Round two. Holy shit, here we go. I mean, it's not like you didn't do anything the last few days, you know? When you came here last year, time and moved them, you were fresh, remember? Yeah. We just done some squat sets to prime and max out a little bit, and you're like ready to go. I think I got this though. Hold okay. On. I'm just giving you a lot of excuses. That's okay. <laughs> Juju, you don't like excuses. You're no. a hard worker. <laughs> I'm a hard worker too. Jesus. Okay, he's going to go for a different tactic now. Oh, oh, he got it up. He got it up. What the hell? <laughs> oh man. Hold on, let me rest. Okay. I think I can do it though. Need help? Holy shit! And he's off! 420 pounds. Let's go! This man is a man. Come on, Joey. To the sand pit. To the sand pit, Joey. Alright. Let's make a breather. Let's go, finish! <sighs> Come on, Joey, come on. Come on. Now move! Move! Let's go! Just in a bit, Joey. Tire flip it. Tire flip it to victory. Drop set. There you go. Drop set. Two more flips. One more flip. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Joey, thank you. Thank you. That was actually yeah. useful. <laughs> Guys, that was actually a necessary thing that needed to be done in my house. I could not have done that myself. Hey, hey. <laughs> you ready for an ice bath? Absolutely. All right, let's go take an ice bath. Thank you. Oh, after those gnarly sandbags, what's the best thing to do? Recovery with these Recovery. crazy guys. We're going to send a bath. <laughs> this is the hot tub. The hot tub goes to the cold tub. Oh no. Juju, why do you do this? Because it feels great and I then I feel better when I'm done with it. I don't care what they say in science. How often do you do it? Uh, as often as I can, honestly. Yeah, it's in my backyard. If it was in your backyard too, you do it all the time. It's fun. Zach, what do you think of this contraption? I agree with Juju. The science doesn't matter. It feels good. <laughs> yeah. If it feels good, Marcus, you do it a lot. Yeah. That's actually what happens when something feels good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ian has to go in the ice bath first. Ian, get in the ice bath. You're doomed. <laughs> it's doomed, Ian. No, no, you're first, bro. Come on, Ian. We don't need to put more ice in there. It's already, put, it's put already full of ice. It's already co it oh, coating of ice. Oh, We're gonna save this back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speed, brother. Who are you running for? 
We're just going to start off with two minutes. What do you think of this cold and hot exposure? I think it's great. It's just like one of those things. It's like uh, it's like something you could really easily procrastinate. <laughs> but um, I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going for it. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. My balls. <laughs> You feel it really hard in the gonads. Where are your balls right now? Are they in they're just, chest? No, they're, they're, they're right next to my large intestine. Yeah. <laughs> Bless your soul. Oh, Bless your soul. Thank you. All right, here I go. Polar plunge. We used to do these all the time. Oh, boy, for uh, high school football. <laughs> oh. Dear God. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I thoughts on this. I don't know where the science is at with cold and heat stuff, you know. I used to think it was the best thing ever, and I'm sure there was some discrepancy. Uh, but honestly, I'm a big fan of, if it feels good, do it. And this feels actually phenomenal when you're done. Uh, so, you know, I don't do it often, so I think you don't want to do something too much at the same time. You build a tolerance to it, maybe it doesn't have the same effect. So, to come here every couple of months and get to hop into this bad boy, uh, feels pretty good and I do enjoy it. So if you have access to these and you want to hop in every now and then, you know, to try for yourself. If you like it and you feel good, do it. That's all I got to say about that. But absolutely gorgeous day. We've had so much fun. Doogie and Tom are two of my most favorite absolute people. They're genuine, kind. Uh, they treat you like family when you're here and couldn't be happier for him, honestly. Like, he has a gym farm. That's. <laughs> That would be like the coolest thing ever. Literally, like, one second. Check us out. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. This is an amazing place. So, yeah, just enjoying it and soaking it in. Good friends, good people. I mean, you know, the world's a little bit crazy, so when you can hang around just people that make you feel good, uh, there's a lot to be said about that. <laughs> 